Hi, my name is Pastor Matt. I have a question for you. Are you living by faith? If so, wh how? What, what way or how or what ways in your life are you living by faith? The Hebrews uh, chapter 6, verse 11 says, Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And if you look at Hebrews chapter 11, it lists all these great men and women of faith that stepped out. This is not a faith that leads to salvation. This was a faith that acted in the, uh, in the face of impossible odds. And they acted upon their understanding and their faith in God and it allowed them to do great things. And so I ask you again, are you living by faith? If you sit back and you ask yourself, well, I'm not, I'm not sure, then I'm not talking about a faith that leads, oh yeah, I believe I have faith in Jesus. That's not the type of faith here that I'm talking about. The faith that I'm talking about is the kind of faith that the Apostle Peter demonstrated in Matthew 14, where when they saw Jesus walking upon the water and the disciples were afraid, and the waters were stirred, and it was storming, and it was gnat. And of course, Peter said, Lord, if it is you, call me out upon the waters. And Jesus said, come. And Peter had a moment to make. He had a decision. Am I going to stay in my comfort zone? Am I going to stay what I know? I'm going to stay in what I know. And he's with these other 11 guys, and they're on this boat. He's a professional fisherman. He's been on the waters. He's been in the waters. He knows how water works. And in that moment, he had to... A decision to make. Am I going to live in my comfort zone in what I know, in the natural, or am I going to step out of this boat and, and have faith in the words of Jesus, have faith in Jesus? And he made a decision. He stepped out of the boat, and of course we know he walked on the waters. While the others stayed in the boat, boat squatters, he was a water walker. I see that there are many times, there are many believers. It's not a condition of their salvation. But in terms of pleasing God, do you want to be a child of God that is pleasing? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You have to be living an active, demonstrating life that is by faith. Now, when I live by faith, it many, many times it scares my natural man. It scares my natural reasoning. Seven months ago, my wife and I started a church. We didn't have all the answers. We didn't have all the finances lined up. I didn't have a job lined up. There were many question marks, but we all, we could continue to feel the, the call of God to launch out, to move out, to step out of our boat, to step out of our comfort zone. And it wasn't until we stepped out of our comfort zone we began that God began to firm the waters. He began to lay a path before us. And I find there were seasons in my life where I've been on automatic pilot, where I was basically in the boat. Was I a child of God? Absolutely. Did God love me? Absolutely. But was I living in faith? Was I stepping out of my comfort zone, listening to the voice of God as he challenged me and moved me? There were times where, no, I was just in the boat like the other 11 disciples. I ask you again, are you living by faith? Where have you stepped out of your comfort zone? Where are you stepping out of your boat? Do you want to please God? Do you want him to look unto you and say, hey, check out, check out Matt. Check out John. Check out Sarah. Check, check him out. Look at him. Look at her. They stepped out of their comfort zone. And now look what I'm able to do. I'm able to do miracles in their life. I'm able to, without faith, it's impossible to please God. I ask you today, what boats are you sitting in? What areas of your life have you become comfortable in? And be honest with yourself. Many of us, we're like the other 11. We want to be like a Peter, but we're not. Because we're still sitting in the boat. We're still sitting on what God has told us to do. We see where God wants us to go, but we haven't gone there. We know what he wants us to step out into. Some of you need to start a business. Some of you need to start a ministry. Some of you need to just start going across the street and witness to your neighbors. Witness to somebody. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. Because until you step outside of yourself, you're not living by faith. We've been called to be water walkers, not boat squatters. Find out what area of your life today needs to get out of your boat and let me and let, and tell me, talk to me about your miracle water working experience as you left your boat to step out on the waters. God has called us by faith to live by faith and not by sight. God bless you.